Beach commissioners with a plan to tackle invasive iguanas in their city. All right. There you go. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are back in Florida with my buddy Travis, and we're gonna be Iwana hunting again. And today we have a special guest. What's up, guys? American Outlaw. We're gonna kill a lot of iguanas. We just dropped one, this one's pretty nice. You know, like a lot of people come to Texas to help out with the, uh, with the hog invasive problem that we have. We decided to come to Florida and help out with the iguanas because they're everywhere, aren't they? Everywhere. And what, else, what are we gonna hunt today? Uh, so we're gonna look for iguanas, spiny tail iguanas, Tegus, if we see a tegu, y'all better hope what is have that? a gun. It's a monitor lizard. Okay. It's a black and white checkered monitor lizard. I've never seen one, but where we're gonna be, there's always a chance of one being there. Uh, so we got tegus, and then we're gonna shoot uh, Egyptian geese, Muscovy ducks, and if any Eurasian doves or pigeons. And make sure they're Eurasian doves, not morning doves, yeah. which uh, if you've seen them before, you know what they are. Yep. And then how invasive are the ducks? Because I've heard like- Muscovies are extremely invasive and what they do is uh, their feces actually will kill a dog in two to three days. What? Yeah, if the dog ingests it, it'll, if the dog doesn't get medical treatment, it'll kill it in two to three days. Whoa. Yeah, it's like super, super intoxicated. Where did they migrate from? Uh, believe Or, or where they were- Believe Were they ago. introduced here? Like somebody brought food. them? Yeah, introduced as food. Mm. So yeah, and more and more people are actually starting to eat them. Really? Yeah, so now I've kind of got the curious bug of like, oh, I wonder what they taste like. Yeah. So, and then the Egyptian geese, which are further south, down in the Fort Lauderdale area. That's good eating. Those are really good. Yeah. So we have the opportunity to be able to get all those as well. So but okay. mainly our main focus around where we are today is going to be iguanas. Yeah, we just done one. <laughs> iguanas, iguanas. And today, and it's breeding season. Is it? Yes, yeah, breeding season. So all the big males are going to be orange. All the females are going to be gravid. So they're going to all either have already have eggs or starting to get eggs. Oh, wow. So their males are going to be real territorial. So yeah. what you're going to want to do is when we come up to an area, you're going to want to look for holes. When you start seeing holes in the ground, yeah. start looking on the outskirts of the holes. They're only going to be within 10 feet and okay. they're hanging out. And just start headshots only. Okay. That's the most ethical way to harvest an iguana is a headshot. Okay. Like you did that. Like that? Yep. Sassy, you want to make an appearance? Come here. Come here, Sassy. How old is Sassy? Sassy's eight months old. Eight months old. Her to be an iguana dog. Heck yeah. <laughs> she's a Pattersdale Terrier and she's only going to get to be about 15 pounds. 15 she, pounds of fury. If she'll grab it, she'll carry it all the way back to the truck. It's getting it. It's on it, dude. That's awesome. Big, grab it, female. Oh, is it? I thought that was a male. No. So one way to tell, obviously, is she doesn't have any scent glands here. So the male's like... Yeah. And I can see now she's not as orange as that other one, but yeah. looking through the, the scope, she looked... Really it looks like a male, but it doesn't have any doesn't have any scent glands here. Like, look, I'll show you. You would visibly see the scent glands? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. Good dog loves hey, look. Oh yeah, he's way more orange. All right. Well, not even that, but look. See how you can actually see the scent glands? Oh yeah. Sure. So this one doesn't have them. Like it, you can't even feel them in here. So this must either be hermaphrodite or, because females don't get this. Females don't get the beard. Don't get the beard, no. Like see, like look at the top distance. Sassy back. What makes me think it's a female, right? Is how big, how wide she is. It's eggs. Fucking Dang, egg. Dang, dude. Crispy said they're good. Crispy canal challenge? I never said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. So so those are uh Okay, those so are, those are those are eggs. Is that the yeah. one I took out? Yeah. So Whoa. Those are the eggs, right? Yeah, so think of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. Okay? That's ten iguanas. I mean, there's there's probably let's say forty there. Yeah. Right. So, it was a female. 
but I've never seen a female with a beard. Dang. So it's uh, that's a trans lizard now. It is. It's, it's just hermaphrodite. <laughs> yeah, this, this lizard identifies as whatever it identifies. It's the bearded lady. It's 2023 that's or four. Cool. It's Cuban. They're bearded ladies. They, uh, can they have babies in a year? Once a year. They, they once a year. Up to 70 babies. Up to 70? Right. Up to 70. Damn, and imagine half of that so being females. This was a, yeah, a or just yeah. based on, show them a scent That is definitely a male. So you see these scent glands? Those are scent glands. So. And this one didn't have it, but she's the she's the same head structure as yeah. a male. So a male. So usually the females don't have a beard. So. Weird. See how like the head structure, she's got the nose, thorn, the, nor, the nose yeah. horns. The male's got a nose horn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's got longer than three of them. He's got two. But. I just the way I could tell the body size is when I flipped her over. I was like, "Well, that don't, that don't look like that don't look right." A little tripod help. Yeah. <laughs> he's still he's still going. He's still going. No, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's just sliding down. All right, Travis. Yeah. So we're we're shooting these iguanas on this bank, right? Yes, sir. <clears throat> There's traffic going on. Yeah. To the average viewer. <clears throat> on my channel right now is gonna be like is that legal it is 100 percent legal anytime that you're removing invasive species you're allowed to do this it's is it it's all entrusting yourself yeah i tell people typically do not shoot the upper third of the hill yeah we're all good shooters we've got enough eyes here to show what we're doing so yeah. therefore we can say okay there's no traffic Go ahead, commands. That's spotters. Cease, and stuff, yeah, yeah. Cease, cease fire. But it's 100% legal. Legal, 100% legal. Yep. This is the actually the only way to really get an actual hold on the iguana population. They're such an invasive species. Uh, they can actually have up to 70 eggs per hatch. And right now, for all you whitetail hunters, is I call this the rut for iguanas. But what they do is this was killed off of one female earlier today. The one, the first one I the shot first, earlier. The first female he shot. And that's just half of the eggs. That's that we not have. even all of them, yeah. Yeah, that's not even all of them. So they're imagine all those hashing turning into iguanas. They just turn. They just. It's like wildfire. So and they're just here in the city. They're everywhere. But yeah. they're only like people are like, oh, why aren't they out in the woods? Or why aren't you out in the woods doing this? Iguanas eat what? Plants. Plants. They're hum yeah. They're the herbivores. So they want to eat plants. So they're eating flowers. Fruit. They're, well, fruit. Yeah, fruit. Yeah. Exactly. The What's everywhere? Mango trees. Exactly. Yeah. They're everywhere where people live. Yeah. So that's why they're so popular in the inner city areas. But they're all in the canal systems down here. Yeah. And it's not, anybody can't just come and do this. I highly recommend getting a guide yep. and getting someone that's a licensed trapper because they're going to keep you from going to jail. Yeah, because you literally, when we got here, you called and said yes. we were here. And that's what I was just doing just now yeah. when y'all were shooting. I was calling ourselves okay. in. Yeah. Cool, cool. Because we don't want to get anybody to go to jail. No, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go the other side because yep. when we pulled in, I saw two. There are cops right there. Yeah. yeah. Chippy. Yeah, cop just drove by, and I'm walking around with a tripod and an air gun in the back. And Elijah's got like a very not uh, small camera in his hand, so like they see us. They do. ooh, right here, Elijah, look at that. Where are you looking? Right here, right oh, here. on top of the this side. Yeah. Ooh, got him. Finish him off. There he is. Oh, 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 run, motherfucker. Look at him. Oh, yeah. He done. <laughs> He's still alive. There he goes. He's gone now. Who's got that? Oh, good shooting, brother. First off, shot. Look at this number. We can throw it in the middle. Oh, shit. Is that a broken tail? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's weird. Let's say you and I are hunting, right? And it's at night and- Are we holding hands? And we're holding hands. Okay. And there's only one um, 
There's only one thermal with us. I can hand you my phone and you can see what I'm seeing. Not only that, you can take pictures and you can record, right? So look at this, look up, point it so we're across. Uh, all right, so that's across, right? So what I'm seeing here is what you're seeing here. And then you can record, you can take pictures, you can do whatever. Yeah, and so if he doesn't have a thermal, you can see this and go from there. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. Um, I'm gonna be recording a lot of the kill shots through my phone in this, and then we're gonna put it down. Cause so far we got six, and then we lost what, two, Travis? Uh, two or three, I believe, hit the water, yeah. yeah. Hit the water. Once they hit the water, they, they can go down and hold themselves for 20 minutes. This one here, you shot with an exploding pellet. Did you know that? Did I? Yeah, you hit him, you shot him in the head with an exploding oh, pellet. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Got him. Kidding me? Gotcha. No, like I said, Crispy hasn't hit one shot all day. He hasn't made one. <laughs> right there. Yes. I want to shoot a lot, or you want to shoot just a little? I want to shoot the big ones. You know, just in uh, the middle of nowhere, or not the middle of nowhere, I should say. I should say, we're in a fucking neighborhood in Florida, walking around with air guns, shooting iguanas out of canals. Yeah. Crazy. Perfectly legal, too. Oh, only in Florida. Travis embodies, Travis embodies the, uh, He's the Florida man. Oh, I missed him out. What did it hit? The limb? The him? You got him that time. Safety on? Yeah, but I still I just loaded another one. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was an awesome headshot. <laughs> Just you, you just go off, you just touch the top, right? Pound sign, always misses. You missed Outlaw. the first time. I didn't mean to pull the trigger. Whoa! whoa, 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 whoa he had, whoa, whoa, did you guys just whoa, whoa, hear whoa. that on film? I saw him do this a bunch of times. <laughs> he did, he, he did, did. Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah. <laughs> so don't let him give you that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. He's all right. an outlaw, he's gonna lie about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a quick break, eating the Snickers. Where are we at? Palm Beach Air Guns. Where at? The number one South Florida spot to get your air gun accessories or air guns. This is where I get all my air guns. We sell propane and propane. Oh wait, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> air gun and air gun accessories. That's right. right. Catch me while I'm eating those damn Starburst. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I'm eating Snickers. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I shouldn't have been eating one, but whatever. I need the energy. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> so they sell everything, really. They sell. Rapid Air Works, the, we don't talk about that other company. That co No, they sell everything. It's the Day State Scout. They sell the Sidewinders, FX products, and some other stuff. And then they also sell Q. So they do sell firearms here. And they are a SOT. So you can get suppressors, short barrel rifles, and all the cool stuff. Really? Nice, yeah. Hey. All right, guys, this is the second portion of the uh, day. Uh, we did a bunch of day hunting earlier today. Uh, we hammered on a ton of iguanas. Unfortunately, a bunch of them we weren't able to get to because they're across the uh, the river or the whatever. What is that? A canal? canal they were yeah. across the canal, and so we we unfortunately had to leave a bunch of them behind. But uh, we wanted to do something different and put uh, the AGM to a test and see if it's really going to show the iguanas at night like it was showing them during the day. I guess during the day, since they were sunbathing so much, that sun was just reflecting off of them because they are a cold-blooded animal. So realistically, they're not supposed to pop up on thermals because they're cold-blooded. 
but since they were sunbathing, it was radiating off of them. So I was able to pick them in the woods when no one else was seeing them. They were hiding in the grass. And so now uh, everybody was like, well, why don't we wait for the sun to go down? And then we grab all the thermos and we start seeing, we start scanning on these trees because they're all staying around here, right, Travis? You said they're yeah, all in they're the trees? All, they'll be in all these trees right here because they yeah. can't burrow on the ground here. Yeah, so they'll be on the trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan with the thermos and hopefully spot them and then smack them and continue to help uh, cool down the, uh, well, I want to say cool because we're not cooling, right? We're just... We're no, eradicating we're a... We're eradicating pests. Yes. Kind of like pigs back at home. Yeah. Mm. Do you guys know he's from Texas? He doesn't act like a Texan, but... How do I not act like a Texan? I don't know. I just wanted to say that. It hurt your feelings. <laughs> it does kind of hurt my feelings. I know it did. That's why I said it. <laughs> Get out of here. Ooh. I'm going to cry. Ooh, I, I feelings. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to strip his name. Ooh. Drop him like a fucking Ooh. hater, bro. Double tap. There you go. Nice. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, yeah. Get him again. Get him again. Be clear now, go ahead. Well, guys, there it is. Um, I'm very, very impressed with that AGM and how we were able to spot them at night like that is crazy uh, you know again you guys keep hearing me saying they're cold-blooded animals and you're able to see them through uh, thermos it's insane but we smacked about 20 and they're all fighting in the water so we couldn't retrieve them but we did our part tonight and again i'm super impressed with that thing thank you so much for tuning in guys do my favorite like comment and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel please please hit that subscribe button hit that notification drop us a like drop us a comment Thank you, thank you so much for all the support. Guys, we love you. We'll see you next week. Until then, crispy on.